Hey guys, Diver here with Radio Vans. I'm the owner and do the product development with Radio, and this is Greg, one of our clients. And we just wanted to go over his build today, which we've kind of nicknamed the mullet build, which we'll get to later on. Greg, do you want to tell us a little bit about your van, where you got it made, kind of some important stuff for you? Yeah, you bet. Uh, I was glad to be here, everybody. Yep, the van was built out by Yama Vans here in Calgary, so big shout out to them, of course. And via them, I found Diver at Radio Van, and I had this vision of a multi-purpose, multi-configurable, uh, changeable at any point, back end. And sure enough, Diver and his team uh, had the product I was looking for and have been amazing to work with since day one. So, do you want to go ahead and pull some stuff out? Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, first off, we've kind of got the five trays in here, which is awesome. Like, Greg's repurposed an adventure wagon Moab bed to be a service platform. So he's got four facing backwards and got one facing forwards, which is kind of the whole reason for the mullet. Party in the back, business in the front. What are you typically using it for, Greg? Yeah, these top ones that you mentioned, uh, this is the kitchen, which we'll show you in a bit. It slides into the band. And, uh, you know, the whole purpose is not to have to climb in and grab all your gear, which is a big portion of what this van, it's always out on adventures in the mountains. So everything has to be accessible. And I like organization. But here we've got some Radius Outfitters boxes on demand, on the tray. Everything is all inside of here. This is actually a washing station, as well as uh, all my gear sorted on both these portions on the mullet. So again, just gear stored, all nice and tidy, and so need to leave to grab out. Then the main portion of the garage, this is kind of the heavier gear. We skis, kayaks, uh, chairs. As we can see on this side, the gear wall, Super awesome product, super happy. Wherever I go, I don't have to pack and unpack per trip. Everything is just here, so I can jump in the van and go, which is kind of the vibe of the Sprinter van anyways. It's probably the biggest challenge I had was the typical Sprinter van kitchen are either in the doorway or against the opposing wall. And with the smart floor system, and up to six removable seats. That was no bueno for me. So I needed a kitchen on demand somehow. And again, the Radio Bounds product allowed me to do just that. Got all my necessities, cutting board, Nespresso, of course, uh, and cooktop. We got again, additional storage, as well as a small wash bin in the back. Yeah, just to revisit, Greg added the trays afterwards and did a really great job. He claims he's not a very good DIYer, but you know, with the outcome that he got with his gear inside, I'd say it's a pretty successful DIY. I don't know, Greg, what would you, you had a pretty easy time with the install? Yeah, I think I'm a pretty good use case to show how simple it is to put in. Um, really straightforward when I had a question, Diver and his team at Radio Vans were there to help me. Super happy with the product super happy working with radio vans yeah definitely a pleased customer thanks a lot for your time today greg i definitely appreciate it this is one of the i'd have to say that this is probably the the nicest radio van integration that i've seen so far i wish i could have this in my own van some days uh, i appreciate all your time and effort and help along the way as well as uh, it was a team effort for sure thanks greg